Welcome everyone to another episode of the wonderful, marvelous, my HRE series in the CK2 Charlemagne DLC expansion something where I'm playing as the still cool and honestly the best guy ever, Count Augustine. And right now we are going to talk about our steward. Would he make a better steward? Uh, six? Who's my current steward? Six. Oh, uh, wait, wait, that's a guy that I'm... This is a guy that's going to replace him. Uh, he is... Yeah, he's a best steward. Honestly, he is. And my money is your dealings. My beloved wife, Hagel... I have a feeling this already did happen at some point in my life. So, you know, I already got to, I, I'm already charitable as a person. Like, yes. So let's get zealous. If we get zealous, it's much better than getting greedy. Or we could just... Because it's two martial ability plus a pious ability plus religious same trait relations. Plus church opinion is up by a lot. So, this guy... <laughs> this guy is literally awesome. Oh, wow. He's still... Rich, rich, oh shoot, we're still having children, that is not good. But wait, my guy, wait, wait, what happened? Oh shoot, Rudolph finally came of age, dude, how'd you turn out? You became a charismatic negotiator, which means, and your princess, I remember, I remember, I married these ones pretty close to age, so this should not be weird. Um, yeah, he's 13 and 15, and you're marrying into the East Francian dynasty, the House Carlings. Good, that's pretty cool right there. Now, I don't think I need to do anything with you. Unlanded Sons, well, I literally have no titles to give you. Like, I wish I had titles, but I honestly have no titles to give anyone. I mean, literally, I am still just trying to figure out how to get, like, family relations. And it's not very good, but anyways. Yeah, this woman's just not gonna die. Hmm. Can't kill. Okay, how would this? Okay, I'm pretty sure. I think I know how this works now. If I was to go back here, go back here, go to her, and then rivals, no, no, her family. If I was to marry off one of my children to her, then I could eventually inherit the duchy, which would eventually give me good, powerful relations. I'm pretty sure that is it, but the problem is, is that I'd have to assassinate literally all her children again, but no one wants to join me. I mean, I keep doing this plot every couple while to see if anyone wants to join me. Hey, the, the spy ma I just need the spy bastard. I could literally kill this person, but sadly no one wants to do it. No one wants to kill children, which really does make me feel sad and disappointed. And I just realized I'm, my character just on his own is better than my entire council. Like, combined stat-wise, I have a literally better character than all of them. My characters are 19, 17, 10, 15, 12. This guy is awesome, and he keeps having daughters. Which... Is... Awesome. Uh, yeah. So, who are we gonna marry this one off to? Let's see. You are calling... You are going to King Louis. King Louis is unmarried. He is the regent of this one. So regent. So let's see. I, I, I'm getting. I'm getting confused. This guy. No, no. Is he the current king actually? Wait. No, no. She's the current queen. He's King Louis of Italy. So. King Louis. Giselle, calling. And then if I if he dies, Giselle took over. Hmm. It's a very interesting family line. Queen Prefera, King Giselle. There she is. There's the calling. Okay, well I can't really do anything with that. But this child I could possibly arrange something that would be uh, most befitting to a person of my caliber. Um Don't I already have wait, 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 wait. Don't I already have ambition married off to somebody else? Let's see. Ambition. No, Ambition's not married off to anyone. Rich isn't married off to anyone. And Emio is married. Okay, so. I need to get Ambition and Rich off married to someone. Okay. So this would totally work. So. A range of betrothal between. Uh, wait, no. Well, actually, that'd be really interesting if I could do this. 
Could I arrange a betrothal between me and you? Or would you not accept? <laughs> Actually, that would be really interesting. Could I get that to happen? I mean, it would literally become... It literally put me as a king. Where I would kind of have a throne. You know, me and my wife have never had good relationships. But then again, she's pregnant, right? Could I... Could I even... This is a morbid thought, but could I even kill her if I wanted to? Oh gosh, there are so many people who want her dead. That is insane. Okay, so... If I wanted to kill her, it would not be difficult. And then I could technically marry myself off to the queen of... Oh my god! She's only 16, guys. Shoot, and is this agnotic, agnotic, gavel kind? Holy moly. If I play my cards right, then I could have the child between them and us become... Okay, okay, okay. We had to put this person in special interest, first off. That's the first thing we're going to be doing. Put out the ledger so that we see these things always. Um, message rules, message rules, court, 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 court. Okay. Alright, yeah, keep this up. No, no, no. Lock this into place. I want to see this at constant times. Okay, now what we're going to do is, since we've never had good relationships with our wife, and, you know, it's honestly, our relationship never should have happened. We're just going to casually, you know, see how many people, holy, <laughs> my, oh, my, oh, oh my, wait, wait, wait until she has a child. Don't kill her before she has a child. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, good. I don't want to become... Uh, good. They got the child out before I killed my wife. Good. Okay, so I'm going to name this child You Lucky... You Lucky Child. <laughs> you, you Lucky Star... No, I'm going to name you Lucky Star. That's a better name. <laughs> lucky Star, you are lucky that your mother spat you out before... <laughs> yep! Okay, yep, okay, yep, success, not knowing the name of the killer, yep, because literally everyone in the realm wanted her dead. Why do you left off the peasants accusing of poaching? Uh, well, 77% yeah, uh, kind of arbitrary. This is a better combination, kind, this, goodness gracious, so I wish I could get James on the throne. Okay, next, arrange this, we gotta get this hooked up, arrange marriage, you and me, baby. It was meant to be. Damn it. Matrilineal? Damn it. <laughs> Children born in this dynasty will not be of your dynasty. Consider a regular marriage. Yes. Okay, so. She will not consider it. Rats. Well, it was a good idea. Hmm. Could I arrange a marriage between you and my... Child, maybe? I mean, I have a couple children. Let's see. Um, Augustine is married off to Badenburger, but that's not going to come through because technically now it doesn't matter. That's probably not going to fly with her, though. T to be fair, that's probably not going to fly. By the way, how many people want her dead? A lot of people want her dead. So I had to kind of think of this as um, Giselle, Immigrid. So if Giselle's the next person that inherits it, okay, which means she's 20, she has one child, that means this is Agnetic Cognatic, right? Uh, this is just Agnetic Cognatic, yes, okay, because it is a female ruler, I just remembered that. So, if I killed her off, gave the title to Giselle, made sure that my child was married to, um... Giselle Carling, then literally what could happen is that that could get me on the throne. Arrange a marriage. Uh, what? Princess Gavira of Aquatic? What? Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. If I did my cards right, this could be a cheap way to get on the throne. So we go to Giselle and then. Gissia calling. Gissia, that's kind of confusing. So, wait, wait. Which Gissia is going to inherit the calling line? 
Gisia calling or Gisia calling? That's like very confusing there. Um, hmm. Okay, go back to the weak claim of Lotharingia. Go back to her, and let's see. Um, hmm. It is next is Gisia calling. So we had to figure out this. He is a grandson of Queen. <sighs> he's also the he's also the king of oh he's the king of Italy. That's why I'm having such a hard time. Like I was wondering, like wait, he's a king too? He's the king of Italy. So that's where that comes in. Then there's also Princess Dijel of Italy. Okay. Which does that actually play a factor into this? Um Giselle calling. That doesn't really give me enough. <laughs> okay. Giselle calling a bullet. Okay, that's one Giselle. Is that literally the only Giselle? Okay. So it must be this Giselle right here. Okay, so it is this Giselle. I am so confused by this family line. I'm just not even going to question it anymore and just assume. Okay, you're court chamberlain. Let's see. He is the court chamberlain, so that means you are technically my learned man. He's a seven. You're a seven. Yeah, he'd be better because his ambition goes up by eight. Wait, does it? No. Oops. Wrong gaming system, but yeah, you know what? I'm just going to leave. I'm just not even gonna think about this because like it's so complicated I don't think I can wrap my brain around it and that's unless I somehow killed this guy which then Pris Oldolf will become the leader you know let's just I'm just curious could I get this guy to could I get this guy killed uh no people actually like the king Okay, so no, I couldn't get this guy killed. The Unholy War for Valencia. Hmm. But... I can't get this arranged marriage. I know she... She personally would hate it. Immigrate the courtier of Los Thuringia. This... Pretty sure this is the one that... It's pretty much the one that we could get. She's third in line, I'm pretty sure. Okay, if I understand correctly, she's third in line. Yes. Okay, so that means if I marry her, then I get a claim onto the kingdom when I die. Okay? Okay. Let's do this. And break everyone. Sheesh. We claim Hothland. Okay. Well... You know, I wouldn't mind claiming that. How much power do you have? King of Holland? Do you have any allies? No. How much can you raise as a vassal levy? You know, that is a good question. How much can you raise as a vassal levy? Realm Tree. He can raise... Uh, current levy. Uh, about a thousand. Maybe three thousand if he's lucky. So... Okay. Well then, that means that we have to basically go kick his butt. And the best way to go do that is through... Do I have alliances with a lot of people yet? I have alliance with the King Carling. Cannot call to war. Why? Why can't I not call you to war? By the way, how is this person as a person? Uh, she is terrible. Hmm. Okay, good to note. I'm glad I got that established about her. She is a terrible person, but... Hey, do we like each other? Hey, we actually like each other! See, we're both... Well, she's maimed, and she's wroth, and she's scarred somewhere. Because I see a little scar on her. No, she's just maimed. Ouch. Feel sorry, honey. So let's see. Hmm. We killed this guy. Declare war for the claim of Holland. Um, well, honestly, we could do that. Now that I think about it, we could literally go and do that because I have enough money to go support mercenaries, go stomp out whatever army they do have, claim it, and 
If I just put my wife onto power, which I'm pretty sure that's what the claim means, yes, I'm just... I'm probably only gonna claim this for my wife. But, at the very least, if I have a child with her, then that means that that child will inherit that land and we could use that land. Which would be pretty awesome. First I would have to land my, my wife, which is going to be an even harder thing to do, because I literally have no claims. Unless I can, like... Hmm... Who's the barony right now? Adolf? Could I revoke your title? 20 opinion, opinion of you, uh, vassals by 20. Considering I have literally not many very many vassals, I still wouldn't be, still wouldn't be worth it. The Pope doesn't like me enough, I already know that. Actually, the Pope likes me a good amount. Hmm. Unlanded sons, Rudolph. Eh. You know what? We could just try it, just for the hell of it. You know, just not even do it just because it's really logical or it's really a good thing. We just do it because we can. And you know what? That's what I'm going to do. That's the kind of guy Augustine is. So let's do that. Let's quickly get our mercenary companies up and running. We could probably support, like, maybe one, one mercenary company before it, like, you know, kills each other, so... Probably want the least expensive with some good stuff in it. This guy looks really awesome, actually. Hire this guy. Go kill them. Alright. Go raise up my army for the very first time we have ever raised up our army, everyone. Which, holy shoot, we can raise up a ton of men. My goodness. This guy was literally not... Like, I thought I was going to have to raise up... Okay. Okay. You know what, group up right here, that way just in case if they have a bigger army, which I'm pretty sure they do, they don't. Wow. And apparently, I'm at war with a king. The King Duke Popo and King Savik of Noble. So, who am I at war with right now? Okay. I'm at war with these people. Oh, I see. It's a mini vassal that revolted. Oh. Okay. And that basically means I don't... Oh, oh there's a power. There's a juice. Okay, so, there's a couple options we can do. We're just going to go, um, if, let's see, what kind of leaders do I have here? Um, I have Captain, that guy, leading the troops. I'm not leading the troops. Oh, shoot, I am leading. That is not good. I will die there. And my genius son, who is really awesome, really, really awesome. Like, this guy is legitly a total badass. Okay, well not inherit, but I should probably follow that army so I can figure out where- Oh, there it went. There it goes. Okay, and let's go squash them. And since, like I said, this is CK2, bigger army usually wins. Yes, and they are- They have their own mercenary company, which, even if they do reinforce, and I got a bishop, um... Okay, they're obviously a little bit more powerful than I expected. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. No. Do not do a major river crossing. Okay. Since they're a little bit more powerful than I expected, what I can do is to ransom back this random bishop for some money. Yes. Give me some 70 gold. Let's get the net profit up so I can get some more money to support this. So I can put support this manpower. Manpower. Thank you. Okay, go wait for them to come back over here. Now go back over here. And let's see, do I have the best people I could possibly be leading? I have a guy named Rivai leaving my troops. Let can I can I can I can I like change that? Who's the best marshals in my characters? He's good. Okay. Oh, he's the Saxon band. He's a part of the Saxon. They're both a part of the Saxon. Dude, that guy is terrible. Okay. And let's see. You know, there are a lot of things I expect in this world, but I never expected my wife to literally die in the next couple seconds. So, there goes Imgrid, my wife. Who does it go to next? Uh, Imgrid calling. Uh, who's Imgrid calling? 
because I really don't know anymore. Calling line is very confusing in a lot of different ways. But with that sad turn of events, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.